What's up, Scrapyard? I know it's a little late in the split, but I was at TwitchCon for the whole week, so I'm a little delayed with my content. But either way, I wanted to post a video real quickly on how to play Stormpoint in Season 14. Without further ado, let's get it. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you guys didn't miss me too much. I've been a little hesitant to make this video for this season and for last split as well, but I decided to do it anyways, and that's really just because this rank system is so flawed. I am a much more methodical player than what this season requires. So the tips that I've given you in the past about how to play ranked on whatever map don't really apply to this season and especially this split. And you can thank the no kill cap for that. Without any kill cap, that means everybody is going to be horny for kills. And you compare this to last season, which was one of the most challenging seasons of ranked ever. Last season had a hard kill cap, just like every other season. But last season also had the highest entry cost for every rank. So you pair those two together and think about how we had a double rank reset instead of our usual tier and a half reset. It's no wonder why last season was so good and this season so terrible for ranked. Because of the no kill cap, it's pretty much just glorified pubs. So how should you play ranked on this split? Well, I'll tell you this, at the highest level, you're going to land maybe with one team at the same POI as you, but most of the time not. But I tell you guys that you should be landing with a team off rip. You need to get kills in order to gain RP this season. Placement doesn't really matter. I'm not sure if I ever said that statement before in my life. That sounds horrible. So hopefully you fight that team off rip at the same POI as you and get some KP. By the time you loot up the rest of the POI and you loot up comfortably the areas around you, there's going to be about 10 squads alive. Yeah, that's within the first few minutes of the game. So on the biggest map in the game, you're going to run and run and run and run and find nobody. By the time first ring closes, again, you'll be somewhere around 10 squads and you'll still be looking for more KP. And this is where you have to be careful because everybody else is doing the same thing as you. The chances of you getting third, fourth, and fifth partied in the middle of the game are so damn high. So I recommend when playing this split of ranked that you find a third party in the middle of a game instead of initiating a fight yourselves during that time. And by the middle of the game, of course, I mean around round two and around round three. And of course, if your team is sturdy enough within the rank that you're playing in, then take advantage of the system. This system is meant for individuals that belong in a certain rank, and that's what it's perfect for. So say if you belong in gold lobbies, you're going to thrive in those lobbies. You might rank up really quick through them, but as soon as you hit platinum, you might struggle because you may or may not belong in those lobbies, and this system kind of highlights that for you. This is why you see the pred cap so damn high. All of these people that belong in the pred rank thrive the most in the system because we're picking on masters, diamonds, and platinums half the time. So I repeat, if you and your team are cohesive, then take advantage of the system. Anyways, I digress. So around round three, you're going to have about six to seven squads alive on average. Now you start positioning yourself for end game because depending on the circle, during this time, you will get third party 100% of the time if you do decide to take a fight. And there isn't anything wrong with taking fights. If you have to push somebody off high ground so you can take it for the next ring, then do so. But you have to be very quick, and you cannot go down at all. I know it sounds horrible to say this, but for all you lower ranked players out there, you want to capitalize off of third parties as much as you can. Players like myself and the people that I play with, we don't have to really abide by my rules that I'm giving you. But of course, that's because we're at the top of our chain. For you guys that are struggling to gain RP and ranked, I really recommend using the system. Try and take a 50-50 off rip, because I promise you, you'll be running around the rest of the game with little to no kills, thus affecting your RP. And after you do run around for 10 minutes aimlessly without finding anybody, you want to try to run into a team fighting. But be careful because another team will be doing the same thing. And before you know it, you'll have five to six squads in the same area. I can't tell you how many times this happens. So when this does happen, the best tip that I can give you is to come back the way you just came from. And be sure you're using your escape abilities effectively. Defense legends are cool, but they are not necessary at all. Not this split with this system. Because there is no kill cap, then you have to get as many kills as possible. And you'll do so by playing movement characters, or scan characters like Seer, which is gross. But a lot of the times you're gonna be playing against Valkyries, Horizons, Seers, Bloodhounds, you get the point. Movement and scan legends pretty much primarily. It's a weird season to give you guys tips on, and that's just because ranked really is not ranked right now. So it is pretty hard to devise a game plan. In fact, in order to thrive in the system, you just kinda have to be brain dead. And that's something I have a hard time with. I give you guys tips like this because you guys have a lot to work on. But you'll see pro players that play this game and they play absolutely brain dead, push everything and it works out. But for you guys that struggle, play slower. Try to get as many kills as possible off of third parties. And just play the rest of the game out. These games are very short. Rank system needs an overhaul just like last season. And I hope we get it soon. Best of luck. I'll see you guys next time.